Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sam here at CustomPCReview.com here again with another video unboxing for you guys. And what we've got today is uh, a brand new product from the guys over at Audio Engine. Now, Audio Engine is a, isn't really a company uh, that you know typically unveils like 10 or 20 different products in a year, but uh, for whatever products they do unveil, um, they're pretty good products. So uh, if you guys aren't too familiar with Audio Engine, um, they're a very high-end uh, audio products manufacturer. They generally produce products that are designed for computer use. So as you can see here, premium powered uh, desktop speakers, and this is how they look like. Up here it says, join the computer audio revolution. So you know that these speakers are designed uh, to be used with computers, to be used, uh, you know, desktops, laptops, notebooks, tablets, and things like that. So um, this pair right here is the Audio Engine 2 Plus, and this is their entry level uh, type of uh, speaker. Now this isn't cheap. It does come in uh, at about $250, um, you know, and obviously considering this is the starting price, uh, they do have, you know, larger models available um, for quite a bit more, but, um, this is a, you know, you do get a lot with this package. Um, over here, you can kind of see a couple of features there. You've got uh, built-in amplifiers. So these are ref these are sort of like reference monitor speakers almost. Um, they're bookshelf speakers, but uh, you know, you do need amplifiers. You do need, you know, uh, DACs. You, you need things like that if you are going to be using um, a pair of speakers that are, you know, designed for a home theater system or designed for reference monitoring. So with Audio Engine, you get all that built into the speaker. So you get built-in audio amplifiers, you get uh, audio inputs, USB computer uh, audio input. And what's special about this one is that they actually have built in a DAC in the speaker for you. So you can just go ahead and uh, connect the speakers via a USB cable so that if you have a laptop or something that doesn't have uh, a, you know, a high quality audio output, you can go ahead and connect that and uh, you'll get you know, better sound than you would get off your uh, laptop's integrated um, speaker or integrated um, sound card. So uh, you also get variable audio output, gold player connectors, custom Kevlar woofers, silk tweeters, hand built cabinets, uh, magnetically shielded, power saving idle mode, and um, they have cables included. So this one obviously for the US uh, A2 Plus white edition. So they have a white and a black edition. As you can see here, this would be the black edition. And um, this one looks like that's about it. So let's go ahead and open up the box, check out uh, what this thing looks like and uh, all of the accessories included. So this is a very premium product. And so we get some pretty premium packaging as well. So um, I really like the fact that, you know, Audio Engine does bundle all of their cables in these nice little pouches. Uh, speakers should come in these pouches as well. So um, we can go ahead and open one of these pouches up to see what we get inside. Uh, this one actually feels like a power brick. So we do get a power brick right here. Uh, you can see there's Audio Engine and um, looks like it is 17.5 volts times uh, 1.8 amps. Uh, power brick there. It looks like it's got a proprietary connection. So um, if you do lose this power brick, you may have to go to uh, go directly to Audio Engine to get it replaced. Um, so there's that. Let's move on and let's take a look at what's in the other bag. So looks like we got a ton of cables in this bag, most likely for the audio inputs, uh, audio outputs and things like that. So uh, first thing we get is a power cable. So we can see that this one obviously hooks into the power brick uh, that we just pulled out there. Um, we have a three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter jack. So uh, for these guys using uh, iPods, iPads, uh, tablets, you know, phones, uh, computers, laptops, things like that, you can just go ahead and hook it up with a three and a half millimeter jack. Uh, it'll work with these speakers. So very different compared to, you know, a lot of the other high-end speakers on the market where you would have to, you know, buy uh, a DAC and an amplifier, a receiver, or, or whatever else you have to buy. So um, here we also have a USB cable. Uh, like I said earlier, the speakers actually have a DAC uh, pre-installed in the speaker itself, so you don't actually have to go out and buy another one, um, which is, you know, it's great, especially if you're you're looking to save on uh, cost or, or desk space. You don't have all that much desk, desk space. 
um, you know, or anything like that. So uh, finally, we'll also get some speaker wire. And uh, this is a very standard, you know, speaker wire that that you would get for uh, any sort of speakers. And basically, this is to connect the left and the right speaker. All right, so uh, moving on here, um, it looks like we have a couple pieces of documentation as well. You got a setup guide as well as a product line information if you guys are interested, but uh, we're more interested in what these speakers look like. So let's go ahead and pull these things out. Um, like, like I said before, very premium uh, packaging because these are, you know, premium speakers. And so I can uh, pull these out right here and take a look. These speakers are not terribly uh, big, to be honest. I mean, if you look at it, it's about the size of my hand. And uh, we'll go ahead and open them up uh, to show you guys what they look like. So let's pull that out. Uh, again, nice felt, you know, um, nice felt uh, baggies here that kind of protect your speakers. And, you know, you can definitely use them as, as a dust cover. Uh, when you're away or you know if you're transporting them you can definitely put them in the uh, the bags and uh, they would offer at least a little bit of protection from scratches so here's one of the speakers right here this looks like the right speaker so r for the right speaker and uh it's a very nice looking speaker this is in white so those of you guys who are rocking uh, apple products would definitely like something like this you've got a port down here and uh, right in the middle, we get a 2.75 inch woofer. And you'll notice that it's not covered by, you know, any sort of speaker covering. And the reason for that is because Audio Engine is using a Kevlar uh, woofer right here. So it's gonna be more durable um, than, you know, traditional paper woofers or anything like that. But um, it does have the capability of handling a lot of power. Um, so this is something that obviously I'm gonna be be testing for in the uh, full written review, which I will post in the description box below as soon as that's ready. Um, we also have a three uh, three quarters inch uh, silk dome tweeter up here as well. Um, so there's to that's to drive the uh, higher end uh, frequencies. This is a 60 watt uh, speaker, I believe. I'm not sure if it's individually 60 watt or I just wrote down like a list of specs for you guys, but. Uh, not sure if it's individually a 60 watt, but uh, it says 60 watt. So um, I'm assuming it's it. It seems like both of them uh, combined would be 60 watts. Um, but yeah, this is just a satellite unit. Uh, speaker wires would go in here, and then it would connect to the main unit, which I'm assuming is over here on this side. On the bottom here, we do have a little um looks like a threaded mount here so if you guys are interested in attaching these to some sort of wall mount or uh, some speaker stands you can go ahead and do that as well there's also a little piece of um, foam here that kind of uh, isolates the speaker a little bit from the table but it's uh, obviously uh, pretty small and and so if you do you know use this in in very uh in louder volumes uh, it's definitely recommended that you get some sort of stand um, so that you can isolate the speaker a little more. All right, so um, moving on to the second speaker here. This is the one that's going to contain the amp, um, you know, the amp combined with the uh, DAC and everything else uh, of that manner. So uh, the design is fairly similar um, to the first one. Uh, we can see it already. But this one does have all the audio inputs that you would get or that you would need uh, in order to, um, you know, play audio. This speaker is actually a lot heavier than, than this one right here, but that's just simply because you have all that circuitry going on in this one. Again, we have a threaded mount on the bottom, a nice foam layer uh, to isolate the speaker. I've got that 2.75 inch uh, Kevlar woofer, as well as the uh, 3 quarters inch um, silk dome tweeter. We do have a port down here for um, added, you know, bass response, which is for, you know, uh, a 2.0 um, speaker system is actually quite important because if you didn't actually have, you know, some sort of bass, the, the, the audio would sound pretty flat, um, you know, it, especially if you don't, don't buy a subwoofer or anything like that. Uh, that said, you know, you can buy a subwoofer. Audio Engine does uh, have one that you can purchase. I believe it's the S8. 
or something like that, uh, you can definitely find it on their website. But um, taking a look at the back here, we get all the connections um, that you'll need to connect this, uh, this speaker to your computer. So first thing we have is a volume knob. So you can hear the click of this volume knob, uh, very high quality, very smooth um, you know, movement here. And uh, just clicks to shut off, clicks to turn on. Uh, they didn't put it in the front like they did with the um, Audio Engine uh, 5 Pluses. And um, I believe it's because, you know, simply for the fact that they don't have much space to put it there, which is, you know, fine by me. Uh, over here, we've got uh, RCA inputs. So we got red and white. We got RCA outputs. So if you do want to output that to a, uh, you know, pair of, or, or a subwoofer, or, you know, I, I don't know what else you would put put back here, maybe another pair of speakers, uh, maybe some headphones, I don't know. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, there's also a three and a half millimeter input, so you can go ahead and plug, you know, your, your iPhone, uh, iPod, you know, things like that in there if you do, uh, if you wish. And I believe these things um, are simultaneously active, so you can play, you know, music off this one and then connect your computer to this one or vice versa. And, and they would, you know, be um, outputting audio at the same time rather than you having to switch between the, um, the inputs, which is nice. Um, there's also a USB input in this one as well, and this USB input connects to the onboard uh, DAC. So if you have something that can output audio via USB, but um, that, you know, something doesn't have any sort of DAC attached to it or it has a very low quality uh, audio source or low quality audio hardware that outputs audio, like say your laptop's motherboard uh, integrated audio, um, you can go ahead and connect the USB connector straight to the speaker and then the speaker would handle the um, digital to analog conversion and then you'd have cleaner audio than you would have, uh, say, you know, directly through your integrated uh, motherboard audio. And over here, we also have um, some audio outputs to the other speaker. So you would connect the speaker wire to these, and then you would also connect it to that, and then both of them would um, function. So um, these are, are also standard, uh, very standard, you know, connectors. So you can go ahead and put banana plugs in here or you know, whatever you wanna do. Uh, back here, we also have a power port. So this connects to the, <coughs> the uh, power brick and then you would get power, obviously. So overall, um, very good looking speakers. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go play a couple tracks on this uh, with you know, a, a laptop or something and um, go ahead and show you guys how that works. So give me a second to set these up and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so went ahead and set up the whole system here. You can see that the left speaker pretty much has all the connections here. You've got the power cable in here. You've got um, speaker wire going from the left uh, speaker to the right speaker, which the right speaker is basically a passive speaker. So it's got no circuitry in there, just probably a co crossover that, uh, that'll you know switch the signal between the woofer and the uh, tweeter up there. So not much uh, happening in that speaker, but in this speaker, you definitely have uh, all your circuitry, including the DAC, the amplifier, and uh, things like that. So um, in terms of connections, you've got that USB, which uh, if you guys are using a desktop or a notebook without dedicated uh, audio hardware on your computer or laptop, uh, you can go ahead and connect the USB uh, into your uh, laptop or desktop, and that way you'll get the integrated DAC inside the speakers. Um, if you already have high-end dedicated audio hardware, such as a DAC or a dedicated sound card, you can go ahead and connect it via 3.5 millimeter jack, which there is an input there, or you can go ahead and connect it via the RCA. Um, now, originally I was gonna play some music for you guys, I actually got uh, the music and, and the whole segment of that video done. I got it uploaded onto YouTube, and then YouTube's automatic uh, copyright infringement notification bot um, decided that my video uh, infringed on some copyrights. So 
um, they kind of blocked my video and stuff like that. So I don't really want to play any more music in these videos. Um, but basically, uh, based on what I've heard so far, this these speakers are quite good uh, for you know the the size that they are. They output just a lot of bass. Um, you'd actually be surprised at the amount of bass they they're able to output. Uh, definitely these Kevlar woofers and you know this this port down here is really doing a lot of work. Um, in fact, when you actually do play audio quite loud, the the port down here will will uh, push out a lot of air, so that you'll you'll actually physically feel the air being pushed out of these things. Um, you know, even even if you put your hand like uh, like a foot away, so uh, definitely a lot of power can be driven through these things. Um, yeah, as far as the mids and the highs, I mean, the these tweeter these tweeters uh, these woofers, you know, they're they're absolutely fantastic. Um, so far, I mean, you've got really clear audio coming out of them. You know, really crisp, um, very similar to the audio actually. Uh, you know, that you would find on, say, the Audio Engine 5s, uh, Audio Engine 5 Pluses. Uh, the main difference, I feel like, it, you know, so far, it is just the lows. Um, definitely the, the A2s aren't able to go as low. Uh, there's a certain cutoff where, uh, you know, it just can't go any lower, um, whereas the A5s would actually be able to hit that lower note, but... Uh, other than that, I mean, these so far have been great speakers. I'm definitely going to be uh, doing some critical listening on these things to, um, you know, test out these speakers in more detail. But uh, that's all I really have for you guys since I don't really want to play any more audio. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy videos like these, go ahead and subscribe to the, cha uh, to the YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash custom PC review. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash custom PC review. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.